guys, I am back and with more story times. This is gonna be another video where I put multiple stories in one. I'm gonna give you guys three different stories today and they are all different stories of things that have happened to me on my different vacations, travel journeys, whatever you wanna call it that I've had throughout the years. If you watched my 25 random facts about me video, I said that I've been to around 17 countries at this point. My family's really big on traveling and when you go to that many places across the globe that often, weird shit is bound to happen eventually. So I'm going to share what is, in my opinion, the top three best slash most bizarre slash crazy slash entertaining stories of shit that has gone down when I have traveled. My first story is a love story because don't we all love those? This happened in eighth grade. This is the story of how I met my first boyfriend. He has been referenced in a multitude of videos. He is my crazy cheating coked out ex if you want to watch the video about our relationship slash our breakup. But this is about how I met him. I in eighth grade was homeschooled and I lived in Texas. And since I was homeschooled, which was the worst fucking year of my life, I don't recommend it. I fucking hated it, like fuck that shit. I was able to do whatever I wanted and go wherever I wanted because I didn't have a physical school I had to be at five out of seven days a week. So my family went on a lot of vacations that year and in February of my eighth grade year, we decided to go to Miami, Florida because I loved Miami and my best friend came with us on this vacation who also was being homeschooled with me. Like me and this girl were such good friends that our parents decided to literally team up and homeschool us together. Like what? Okay. So her and I went with my family on this vacation to Miami and whatever. It was a regular beach vacation, blah, blah, blah. And then for the last night or two of our trip, we were going to drive down to Fort Lauderdale for the rest of our time in Florida. We got to the hotel pretty late, so we couldn't like go to the restaurant to eat or something. So my dad just said that he would go to the grocery store and get food that we could like make in the hotel room to eat for dinner. So me and my best friend went with him and when we got there, we were just like whatever grocery shopping and there were two guys that we noticed and I thought they were both so cute and my friend thought like one of them was cute too, whatever. We noticed them and I instantly, because I've been a ballsy little bitch my whole fucking life, I instantly was like, yes, we need to get their attention, we need to talk to them, like we need to make something happen. My friend was like, no way, like no way, I am not talking to them, like don't do anything stupid, like I don't want to be a part of this, because she was like really, really shy and I was just like, I don't give a fuck if you don't want to do this with me, like I'm going to fucking do this, like I'm going to do something, like whatever so my friend walks off to like go find my dad in this Winn Dixie in Fort Lauderdale Florida because she's like too scared to like um approach these boys or whatever the first thing I did was I just kind of stalked them a little like I just followed them like down the aisles they went on because oh my god I'm literally such a fucking creep and then they like stopped to like get pop tarts so I like reached up and got pop tarts also literally standing right next to them and I don't even like pop tarts like I fucking hate pop tarts like I was stooping to this level of fake pop tart love to try and get these boys attention then they went to the next aisle so I went to the next aisle whatever like I just made it really obvious what I was doing and they kept looking at me and like kind of smiling so like I knew they like knew what I was doing and they thought it was funny whatever so then they leave the store I guess because they check out so me and my friend like run up to my dad and we're like give us the keys to the car we want to go to the parking lot because we wanted to go see the boys who were like now putting their groceries in their car before they drove away and my dad definitely thought it was super suspicious that we just wanted to randomly go to the car being like little eighth grade girls he was like okay sure and like gave us the keys and we went and we just were like sitting in our rental car and by some weird small chance of the universe their car was the car parked directly next to ours because this would happen to me in my <laughs> weirdly scripted life I had the window rolled down and the older of the two boys I later found out they were brothers like screamed at me through the open window and was like hey you got a number and I instantly was like fuck this guy cannot be screaming at me because at this point my dad had also come out to the car and was like putting groceries in the trunk and I was like fuck this guy cannot be trying to talk to me like I'm only in eighth grade my dad's not gonna be talking to like strangers like whatever so I hop out of my car and like run to their car next to mine and lean my body into their open car door window like what the fuck that's so sketchy they could 
like literally just fucking take me like this is not safe kids don't fucking lean your body inside the fucking car of random boys and I just leaned in and I was like yeah sorry like blah 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 and then like I gave him my number and I literally said to him I was kind of like stalking you back there like why the fuck would I say that that's so fucking creepy like I'm literally such a fucking freak and he was like no it's fine like we were stalking you too like I don't know he was like a super like surfer guy whatever and I just thought he was so fucking cute and like I couldn't believe that like I got his number whatever and we just started talking and we like tried to meet up before I went back to Texas and like hang out like at my hotel or something but we weren't able to like make it me at a good time because he as a non-homeschooled normal student had school to go to every day and stuff so I wasn't able to see him but we stayed in touch and I kind of knew like okay well like this is just some random boy from a random vacation like I'm never going to like see this kid again like I didn't expect us to like stay in touch but we stayed in touch for like literally over a fucking year so that's then when I started visiting him and like things progressed to a relationship I guess that's just proof that you really can like meet someone or find love anywhere because that guy was my first ever serious boyfriend the first person I was in love with my first kiss the first guy I had sex with like that guy as much as he is a piece of shit and I don't really care for him <laughs> at this point in time in my life literally was such an integral part of like my adolescence and me growing up and like so many firsts for me like it's just so crazy that the person that had all those like really intimate personal experiences for me in my lifetime was this random kid that I met in a grocery store mind fucking blown okay second story this one is kind of fucking scary like this is one of the scariest things that's ever happened to me i think in my life let alone on vacation but that just makes it better me my whole family so my sister my mom and my dad and then my grandma on my mom's side and then my cousin all took a family road trip to florida on the way we stopped in louisiana while driving to like stop for the night and sleep in a hotel whatever before we continue driving to florida and we stopped in shreveport louisiana i will never forget shreveport louisiana because of this and i was fucking young when this happened like max 12 years old we like tried to like book a hotel like on the phone or something whatever i don't know or we called and booked a hotel and it was like we were supposed to find the like marriott on this street whatever and we kept driving down the street and it was like super abandoned like super sketchy like where the fuck would there even be a hotel on this road and we keep passing only one hotel but it's called the like ramada and we're like no like it's a marriott it's marriott whatever so finally after like only passing the like ramada we like go inside there and we're like hey like we have a reservation for this hotel but this is the ramada and we're looking for the marriott like what the fuck and they were like oh no like we are the marriott like we just haven't changed our name yet and we were like what the fuck that's so weird they like checked us into the hotel and this hotel was like literally some abandoned ass hotel holy fuck looked like it was ready to be demolished like there was like no power like no fucking lights there was a huge indoor pool in the middle of the hotel and there were rooms like all along like the outside like the hotel was a square and then in the middle was this big indoor pool and the pool didn't have any water of it and there were like sheets all over the ground and like furniture covered in sheets and like there was literally no one else in the hotel like what the fuck like this is not a hotel that's in business like this is fucking sketch like why are we staying here we just go down to our room we go inside the room we got two rooms that were connected by one door and I was gonna sleep on one side with me my cousin and my grandma and then my sister my mom and my dad were gonna sleep on the other side we go into our rooms whatever first of all one of the rooms the beds did not have sheets on it like just a fucking mattress in the middle of the room like what the fuck so we had to like go and ask for sheets like literally this place was not a running hotel like this is so fucking sketchy why didn't we already leave at this point like this is so fucking weird we then try to open the door in between the two rooms that are connecting and one side of the door has huge scratch marks like knife marks in the door and then the other side of the door has like the furniture like the chest of drawers and whatever pushed up against the door on the other side like someone was trying to get in and like stabbing with a fucking knife and the person on the other side had blocked with furniture trying to keep that person out like what the actual fuck but we were dumbasses and we just stayed there because we didn't know what the fuck to do anymore and we just all went to sleep and just hoped everything would be fine and at like 
3 in the morning, a fucking fire alarm starts going off, and we're like, what the fuck? Like, what do we do? Like, this loud as fuck fire alarm. Like, no one else is even staying in the fucking hotel. Like, why is the fire alarm going off? Is there really a fire? Like, what the fuck? Is this place fucking haunted? Like, this is just so fucking weird. And actually, 20 minutes, the fire alarm stopped, and I think we all just fell back asleep, whatever. And then the next morning, like, we were alive, and we literally just instantly packed up and left. This place was, like, condemned. So fucking gross. It'd be like American Horror Story Hotel up in this bitch. We don't fucking know. And we risked it. And we survived. But that is some sketchy shit. My third and final story is about my crazy experience at a gay club in London. This story is my most recent story. This just happened to me two summers ago. The summer before I started college and I'm a junior now. My family went on like a big like European vacation before I went off to college and our last stop was England because like I said I have family that is British. I'm a quarter British so we were going over to visit like cousins and like my great uncle and like people like that. Me and three of my cousins that live over there are all really close and one of my cousins is gay and I knew that I really wanted to go out with him and his boyfriend and just experience like the London nightlife and the London clubbing scene like whatever. Plus I was 18 so I could legally drink there so I was like ready to have some fucking fun before I went off to college at Florida fucking State University let's fucking go the night that we had planned to all go out my cousin and his boyfriend tell me that they really want to take me to a gay club because they want me to experience what they experience when they go out and I was like okay like sure that's fine I'll totally go like I have experience with going to gay clubs in the past I've been with friends it's a fun time like I have no issue going to gay clubs so I was totally down and we were in London so I definitely wanted to see like okay what's a London gay club gonna be like compared to like what I've seen in America my cousin and his boyfriend were so fucking excited because some drag queen from RuPaul's Drag Race was going to be at the club that night and I didn't know why like I don't know if that was gonna be like an appearance thing or like what that's about like I didn't know why just like a celebrity would be at the club that night like this club sounds kind of fucking bougie like let's fucking go to this club we go to the club and I get pretty drunk although drinks in London at least wherever we went were so fucking expensive we went to a bar to pregame the gay club and I got a vodka cranberry and this thing was like this big like really standard like professional restaurant size nice drink size drinks and it was eight pounds not dollars pounds which is like literally 12 or so american dollars for one drink are you kidding in tallahassee 12 dollars can get me six drinks sometimes 12 we then go to the gay club we get in it's fine it's packed everyone's dancing like really loud music strobe lights whatever like however you'd expect a club to be but at the front there's a huge stage and i'm like okay like this is gonna be for when that drag queen or whatever makes her appearance or whatever she's gonna do we are like making our way to the front trying to get as close to the stage as possible so we get pretty fucking close and the drag queen does come out and she's just like okay like i'm gonna be the judge for like the competition this evening blah 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 so then like she takes her seat and she's now the judge for this competition and I'm like what the fuck and my cousin and his boyfriend are looking at me and like dying laughing because they know some shit's gonna go down and they know I'm not expecting it and so I'm just like what the fuck is this shit gonna be about and then literally one by one after being announced by like the fucking announcer I don't fucking know a guy would come out who had literally like applied earlier that day to get chosen to be on the stage like a lot of guys are wanting to do this and they get on stage and they literally do like a dance striptease thing but they get naked literally naked just take off their fucking underwear and it is like fucking cocks out that's a fucking penis just swinging the fuck around like 30 feet from my line of sight like the fuck is this and because we were in europe none of these guys were circumcised which is fine you don't have to be circumcised to see all these flailing cocks i was just like literally dead i literally was screaming but not even out of like shock just out of like amazement like this is crazy like would that even be legal 
in the United States? I mean, yeah, probably because female strippers really do get super naked sometimes. It was insane. So we just watched this performance where like 12 different guys, I'd say, came up and got naked and fucking shook their dick. And the drag queen and the other judges, literally, the judging was literally like judging their dicks. Ew. Anyway, those are my top three crazy moments, memory stories from all the different places I have traveled. I hope you guys like this video. As always, feel free to check me out on social media. I'll put my usernames down below and make sure to subscribe so that you get to know me better. Anyway, thank you all for the constant love and support that I receive from you guys on a daily basis. I really appreciate it and I love each and every one of you that takes the time to leave a nice comment or thumbs up my video or just do something supportive. I really appreciate it. It means the world to me. Hope you all have a great day. Love all of you. Bye!